Hey everybody, how you doing? In 2015, I made a video blog that um, went to criticize a fellow named Mark Shodice, or Mark Dice, his real name is Shodice, who lives in San Diego, 43 years old. And I wasn't criticizing him, okay? I don't know the man, he may very well be a nice person when he's not putting on his YouTube persona, but he has a tendency to spew racist ideas about folks who look like me. And in the instance of the video, I haven't, now to be fair to Mark, I haven't seen all of his videos by any stretch, but his tweets and the way he states things are very, is very racist, okay? And anti-intellectual, okay? He's not a person who knows anything about system dynamics or string theory or differential equations or anything like that. He doesn't have a systems view of society or a long term. He doesn't express it in what he produces in media. If you don't express it in what you produce in media, then it's a fair chance you probably don't think that way to begin with, but I digress. He made a video where he was walking around San Diego, ostensibly, and asking when he encountered who was black, or I think he looked, that he thought looked stereotypically black, and asked them if they would sign something called a white privilege tax. And what I pointed out in my response vlog is that what he did showed that he was insensitive to American history and black history in particular, and that he didn't understand why the people he stopped would sign such a document. And he didn't understand the history of racism. He didn't understand the calls for reparations and the trillions of dollars that some said it added up to. All right? But get this, folks. Get this. At no point did I say I favored reparations. I didn't say that at any point in the video. I was deliberately taking people away from that as a test, which... 95%, I would say, of the respondents failed extravagantly. Racism is a mental illness. It shuts down a person's ability to comprehend what's being told to them. What I was saying is that Mark should be aware of the American history that gave rise to the talk and why we're there and also that it's a byproduct of a society where we don't take care of each other. We think a certain social problem is you know, the province of a black person or this person or that person, which is really stupid. It really is our problem. And what I was saying is that, if you run the transcript to what I said, was that other countries take care of their own. They tend, they're monoethnic, unfortunately, for the most part. Only the UK and the United States have this sad distinction of not taking care of each other as a whole. I'm not saying we don't do it at all. We have a number of great examples when we've come together to take care of each other. But by and large, like we're going through now, we have a part of the population that thinks, like for example, the coronavirus is somebody else's problem. When really it's our collective problem. And the world's problem, okay? What I find particularly shocking, and you would say, why am I responding, making a response video to a video blog that I made in 2015? It's because people are still responding to it today. But what they also don't get is that it doesn't matter whether you thumb up or thumb down. You engaged with it. That's all YouTube looks at, because one person says, I don't get how this could be the most recommended video under Mark Dice when it's so disliked. Well, people are engaging with it. That's it. YouTube doesn't care whether you like or dislike a video. I've been on YouTube almost since its inception. I'm one of YouTube's first generation of partners going back to 2008 when they invited me to be a YouTube partner and to continuing the present day. I'm a proud YouTube partner. So, <laughs> 
watching, I've been through all kinds of YouTube changes and generations within generations and the growth of the video vid bloggers and the, you know, it was the vlogger con, the first vlogger con on the West Coast and all this, okay? But my point is that the one thing that strikes me, and it's very sad, is, and it may be just that a lot of you are very young, that could be it, but you don't understand how to stop and actively listen to what a person is saying to you before you respond. You respond in the middle of a video and write something. But the comments that a number of you wrote were just so totally wrong. It, it was just no source, no, no shortage of comic relief for me. Get smart, all right? Get smart. One of you said that Mark Dice made some comment about this video. Well, look. So? He, too, has to understand this, that... We're at a crossroads. We need to hear each other. But more important, we need to understand that the biggest problem in the United States is inequality. Inequality harms us regardless of race, creed, or color. Well, I say breed because we're really the same race. And the more times automation seeps into the process of making something, that's one more time that our ability to live comfortably is taken away from us. Our outmoded way of producing wealth is quite literally making us crazy. We have to act in a way that makes sure that we have a guaranteed minimum standard of income. For those of you who remark, well, that's socialist anything, let me tell you something. We don't have a socialist economy or capitalist economy. We have an American economy. An American economy that uses the government to adjust to correct market forces. That's our economy. And so we have to focus on making sure that our economy functions properly. Okay? That's what we have to do. So, subscribe to 62 and bookmark OaklandNewsNow.com.